The FBI is monitoring a standoff at a national wildlife refuge in Oregon after dozens of people carrying weapons take over the building. It's all to support two ranchers who have been convicted of arson on federal land. TV 1055's Jennifer Dowling has the latest on the standoff from Burns. It's the Constitution. An American flag draped the welcome sign outside of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge about 280 miles southeast of Portland. An armed militia took over the headquarters building Saturday night. Ammon Bundy, the son of Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy, is among the dozens of people now occupying several buildings on the federal property. The Bundys were involved in a land dispute with the government in 2014. When government um, steps outside of its uh, bounds that the people have given it, that it is the duty of the people to put that government back in its place. The group is protesting a decision by a federal judge to resentence 73 year old Dwight Hammond and his 46 year old son Stephen. The ranches were convicted of arson three years ago and served time, but a judge ruled their sentences weren't long enough. It's clearly double jeopardy. They've already served their time. The men claim they set the fires to protect their property from wildfires. <laughs> Hours before invading the refuge, the militia and dozens of protesters held a rally to support the Hammonds in Burns Saturday. But it's not about me. It's about America. And somehow we got to get the wheels back on this wagon because they're flying off. The Hammonds are expected to report to jail Monday. Bundy's group has made themselves at home. They say they plan on staying at the refuge indefinitely. Now, the Hammonds could spend the next four years in prison, and they say the Bundys don't speak for them.